Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today, especially my new viewers and new subscribers. Your kindness, your generosity, your support of my channel has truly been amazing. I never take that for granted. I'm a 58-year-old American who tired of the rat race and decided to move to the Philippines in search of a new life. But I found that new life. I'm going to share with you my boots on the ground experiences the only way I know how. That's by giving you the nitty gritty, exactly what I'm seeing, what I'm living, what I'm experiencing. I'm never going to sugarcoat that. Welcome. I'm glad y'all could join me today. It's about 6.30 on Monday morning here in Center Mall again. Uh, right behind me is a Catholic uh, college here. It's famous uh, throughout this Negro Occidental area. Uh, the weather's beautiful, as you can see. There's no sweat or anything. It's my perfect time of the day. My subject today is the one-week rule when chatting with Filipinas online. And I got that from one of my subscribers from Canada, sent me a message, I read it today uh, in my Facebook, my Sunshine Shoulders Facebook Messenger. He said, Calvin, I'm tired of the dating scene over here in Canada. He said, do you got any advice uh, with online dating for Filipinas? Well, you know, I just told him like I tell everybody else, I don't give advice, I give suggestions. And it's based on my boots on the ground experiences over here. You know, what I'm living, what I'm seeing, what I'm experiencing, and man, I've dealt with Filipinas online for years. I've been over here for years. And that's why a lot of people get the wrong impression, you know, when they say, oh, he's against uh, online dating. I'm not, and, and that's the disclaimer I wanna put out here. I'm not against online dating. What I'm against is sending women money over here that you meet online that you've never met in person. That's what I'm against. And also, we're limiting ourselves when we only date online, okay? Because there's only a handful of women online. There's 55 million women over here. By the time you take out, do all the filtering, it comes down to about 10 million. There's a handful online and then you're only dealing with three or four, five maybe, of that handful. So your odds of, in, of increase for you being unlucky. And then you're just limiting yourself. But see, I get it. It's easy for me. I'm an expat. I live here to say, oh, it's not necessary to go online. But some of you guys are only going to be here for two or three weeks. I get it. Yeah, you want to meet somebody to, you know, have a good time, you know, and uh, some of you, know, you know, want to come over here and maybe get serious. So I wanted to put that disclaimer out there. But also, let me say this before I get started. Everything I'm going to talk about, because this is a short video, it's... Uh, based on the premise that, number one, you've already bought your ticket. You're coming. You've got your hotel or, or Airbnb reservations. you got your itinerary. Because look, guys, when you get over here, this is your world. She's just going to be living in it. Don't make the mistake and flip that around and let it be about her and you in the middle because it's going to be boring. Guess what? Because over here, outside of her job, if she has a job, outside of her family. She has no life, really. They may go to the beach once a month. Don't do that. Don't make that mistake, okay? What is the one-week rule? It's just simply this, that you should not be chatting with a Filipina over one week before you meet her. Why can you say that, Calvin? I can say that because the demographics, those questions that you want to know, you can learn that in 30 minutes. And what she wants to know, she can learn in one sentence. See, and this is where I get the pushback from the president of the Lonely Hearts Club. Oh, I'm lonely. I just need somebody to talk to. Well, damn it, get a dog. It's a lot cheaper, less problems. All right, it's gonna save you uh, a lot, a lot of trouble, see. So the things you want to know, oh, what's your name? You know, where you live? How old are you? You got kids? You married? You're virgin, maybe, you know. Just them type of questions, man. You can ask that in 30 minutes, man. You don't have to keep rehashing that stuff over six months, over a year. And the woman only wants to know three things from you. Are you chatting anybody else? Are you coming? And when? That's it. All that other stuff you talking goes through this ear and out that one. I promise you that because that's all she wants to know. That's all she's interested in. The details 
You can get to that when you get over here. Same with you. The longer you stay online, the worse it is going to be for you. There's a, a great chance you're going to fall in love and you're going to start doing stupid stuff. Like sending money over here, lots of money over here. That, by the way, is going to do more trouble, more harm than it is good. And then there's no uh, guarantees over here. Quit trying to buy these women. There's no guarantees. It may even break off before you got over here. See, because over here is first come, first served. I'm living it now. My girlfriend I'm with, let me remind y'all, she was chatting three guys. I was already here though, see? So all the money them other two guys sent, all the promises they make, out the window. Yeah, because I was already here. It's first come, first serve, see? So the longer that you chat with her, the worse off it is. I did a video several months ago, it was titled, The Five Biggest Mistakes We Make When Chatting Online with Filipinas. This video isn't like that, but the biggest mistake is we chat them too long. There's no need for that. They want to get to know you up close, okay? Another thing is, look guys, the parameters are already set. You got something she needs, she's got something you want. I don't care how long you chat with her, that's not going to change, that's going to stay there. So throw that delusion out the window that you're somebody special. All right, that she's looking for love and all that. Would it happen on down the line? Yeah, eventually, but those parameters are set. That script is already there. See, that girlfriend experience, see? So throw that out the window. See, the girlfriend experience goes into this next one. The illusion of all we got to get to know each other better. No. Why do you think, the Philippine already thinks she knows you when you get here. That's what that girlfriend experience is. She treats you as if y'all had an established relationship for years. I don't care if you chat with her for a year or, or, or one week. You're going to get that. I've never chatted with a woman over two weeks. Nowhere near two weeks. I'm not like that. See? But I just got, you know, that was just because of who I am. I'm telling you now that you don't even have to do it. Because she only wants to know, are you chatting with somebody else? Are you coming when you coming? So here's what I want you to do, and I'm going to get over here. Because we chat with so few Filipinos online, our odds of becoming unlucky increase dramatically, okay? So at least do this, guys. At least pick you out four top-of-the-line Filipinos. I mean, women that you never thought you ever had a chance with. Pick you four of them, all right? and you give them all the same story. You show them the ticket. You tell them, I got my hotel reservations and I'm going to Baraka, I'm going here, I'm going there, okay? Uh, but don't, of course, don't tell them where you're gonna be staying, all right? Because here's what's gonna happen of them four. Two of them ain't gonna show. That one week, you know, they're gonna get scared. See, they don't trust us anyway. They're gonna get cold feet. They're gonna change their minds. They're gonna drop off the radar. You're left with two. The one is going to make excuses because, see, Filipinos, they're the world's greatest procrastinators. See, they're going to want to put it off. Oh, it's not enough time for me. Oh, I got to work. I can't find a babysitter. You know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, then you're going to be left with that one, see. And this is the one you meet. All right, because, see, what, what you do within that week, this is your biggest advantage, see. You don't give her a whole lot of time to come up with those excuses and all of that stuff and all those lies and putting it off and putting it off, see? See, the element of surprise is gonna be with you. She's gonna see, oh, you're gonna be over in a week? Yeah, then you're gonna find out who she really is right then and there, boom. See, so, so don't waste your money, guys. You only need one week. Because let me remind you, unless you're on Tagged or Dating Asia or one of them free sites, it costs you money to chat with them women online. And the longer you chat with them, the more money's coming out of your pocket. It's not necessary. All you need is one week. All you really need is one hour to find out what you want. She can say it all in one sentence. Who else you chatting with? Are you coming when you coming? So there it is, guys. Don't fool yourself. You're nobody special. Hey, you missed the Lonely Hearts Club? Buy your dog. It's cheaper. A lot less problems. May save you 
bank account too. So thank you so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. I'm getting ready to get on my bike, do my exercises. My live stream is later. If you're able to join me, join me. Uh, we're gonna talk about pandemic love, man. Is it real? Or is she just desperate now? Because times is hard, man, over here. So if you're in America, it's getting late. Before you let your head hit the pillow, please find somebody to help. But if you're on one of them late grocery runs, beer runs, weed runs, just getting off second shift, or you're on your lunch break, you see somebody on the street, buy them something to eat, buy them something to drink, give them a couple of dollars, man. It's none of your business why they're out there. The fact is they're out there and they need your help. Once you give them the money, man, you know, it's out of your hands anyway, see? Let's, let's, let's get rid of this judging and stuff, guys. If you're in the Philippines, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning. Maybe not even that, because I got up early today. I went to bed early. See, early to bed, early to rise, yeah. There's no reason why we shouldn't intensely go out and find somebody to help today. You don't have to have a whole lot of money to help somebody. You don't even have to have money, man. Give them some rice. Give them, give them a meal. Give them a few canned goods. See, I'm going to tell you, times are so hard over here right now. If you got two pesos, you should be giving somebody one of them. You know, our electronic community pantry has become so popular, man. I mean, to the point I can't keep up with it. Why? Because people need our help over here, man. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care, stay safe, stay COVID free. I'll see you next time. And as y'all can see, man, I'm healthy. I was not in an accident. Look, guys, don't bring that negative stuff to me. I understand it. When y'all do that, y'all give them trolls and stuff like that power, man. Don't do it. I protect what's, what goes in here. If you hear something negative about me, you know it's a troll job, guys. You know, if I was in an accident, I would tell you, I mean, but come on. Don't bring that negative stuff to me, guys. I love y'all and I appreciate that you would even think enough of me to do it. But don't play into their hands. These guys aren't in our league. Imagine being over here in paradise, man. And you got to spend your time like that, guys. I, I feel sorry for people like that. Thank y'all so much. Take care.